Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground, and Jeff Rappaport's a sarcastic asshole. Yes. My name is Matt Gibbons. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jeff Rappaport, and I am a sarcastic asshole. Charlie from Sick Trust. John from Sick Trust. Okay, so in the news, it's something that we wouldn't normally talk about in the show. Why? Sting has a new album coming out. Sting? <laughs> okay. The yes. Wrestler? Not the wrestler. Okay. Not the bumblebee from the garden. Uh, okay. Sting has a new album coming out. Uh, Sting of the Police. Yep. Gordon Sumner. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Sumner. Yes. yes. Lord Gordon. <laughs> yes. Well, one of the coolest things about him, though, is that uh, the character John Constantine is based, based, on, him uh, based on him visually. Really? The really? Green Hellblazer? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you gotta talk to him about that. Oh, you like, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Sets the part. Yeah, look, that's based on Sting. Look at, well, not based on Sting, the, 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 what appearance. he looks like. If you look at him, he looks just like Sting. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, I know. I just, I, John Constantine, the hell I just realized, I'm, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. They want it. All right. So wow. But uh, what makes this metal news is Brian Johnson of ACDC is uh, guessing on this new Sting album. Uh, it's good not to be interested with Brian Johnson wow. from. Uh, that would be a show. From what? Comic book man. That's a different Brian Johnson. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's a different Brian Johnson for our viewers. I think a lot of people. Well, yeah, some people might get confused. Yeah. No, sure. no, Brian yeah. Johnson, the uh, the, the Scottish, Scottish, Scottish uh, ah, from, from ACDC, the Scotsman. <clears throat> that is an interesting. Uh, yeah, that's gonna that's be an interesting. Wow, show. that's not something. I Although know. I heard that the the. the the Sting album is actually based on a, a, mm -hmm. music, a Broadway yes. musical yeah. that he's it's writing? a musical that he wrote, yes. Yeah, Last That's Ship a... is a soundtrack primarily featuring Sting for a Broadway production of the name. The Last Ship explores the central themes of homecoming and self-discovery, drawing upon Sting's memories of growing up in the shadow of the Swan Hunter's shipyard in Lawson. Right. His personal reminiscences... Reminiscences? What the hell is that word? Reminiscences? Remin 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 Reminiscences. Reminiscences. It's like a, you know, Sally Sol 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 Reminiscences? Reminiscences. That's why we play metal, because we can't talk. Reminiscences. 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 We're metal heads. It's He's reminiscing in, in many tenses. <laughs> reminiscing <laughs> tenses. He's got hoes in different areas. Yeah. Yeah. Illuminate universal truths, the complexity of relationships, the passage of time, and the importance of family and community no, to form in an affecting, complex parable for our modern times. And that's why I don't like Sting. That's too many well, how do you how do you write? I'm going to be saying that. How do you get that out of writing a play about a shipyard closing? He's right. Supporting. He was kind of funny in the episode of Life's Too Short that he was in. Yeah, he was. That was a good guy. He's an amazing, <laughs> amazing singer and songwriter, but I don't think I'm going to be spending more than that anytime soon. Yeah, I, God bless. I, I like, uh, like, uh, I love the police. Yeah, yeah I say, this is one thing you and I agree on. Dude, who, who combines <laughs> punk and reggae? He's a genius. Yeah, they, they were great, but then he did Sting, and I was awesome, like, I always so found Sting, Sting so, like, pompous. Jazzy. And, and yeah, and, and boring. Easy listening, yeah. Really. Yeah, he's well, oh, seen him play. More of a commercial. I mean, lately, he's... And I'm, this is my own personal opinion. I do not play bass nor guitar. But if you've seen him play lately, he doesn't even. Do you know it? Well, I mean, he used to play bass. You could see him playing the bass. Now right. it's kind of like he just sits there and lets the you know 18 piece orchestra behind him <laughs> yeah. play the songs, and he sits there and like strums a chord on a guitar, and says driven to tears. But he's got yeah. like that. <laughs> He just yeah. always seems like he doesn't have to do the heavy lifting. He seems no fun. Man. Yeah, he does. He seems like he's no fun at all. Yeah. Well, well I, I yeah, talked to his wife uh, Trudy or whatever, and they do that whole tantric sex. Oh yeah, yeah. Thing. Apparently, he's, <laughs> he apparently he's the true. marathon man. You know, yeah, like sack, but doesn't mean he puts on a good live show. You know. Yeah, I mean, like he I saves it all for her. It's so weird because he got so huge and. and Stuff. Why is, there, is everybody just they want the police and this is all they can have? Or like, so. But it's interesting, like you said. Love the police, we're amazing. High energy police, like punk, yeah. reggae, and then you're kind of like well, jazz. Honestly, He's got a great voice. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. debating that. I just wish I, I wish that his his he changed his musical format a little yeah. bit. Um, it's not being pretentious. Yeah, come on, dude. Really? That is the <laughs> perfect word. Dude. Which that brings us to piece. back to Brian Johnson. Who's not pretentious at all? <laughs> no, he's the man. And I'm curious I bet he how plays like a captain of a ship or something. Well, I'm curious to see how Sting kind of got him involved. Like where, like 
Sting's mindset behind like writing this yeah, I'll Broadway Robert. musical. He's like, Brian, Brian Johnson would be great for this part. You know? He's probably got him for. A, I also heard George Corpsegrinder is going to also. Uh, uh, <laughs> like he's, yeah, is he like the first mate? Is he like the first mate? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I will kill you. <laughs> well, it'll be really interesting because if Brian Johnson's performing on the album. I can't wait to see who has to sing that shit on the, in yeah. the Broadway oh, musical. Bless, <laughs> Somebody from an ACDC cover band. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That's what you need to get, for sure. All right, any last... Uh... Well, like you said, I mean, I, I would have more enthusiasm for this if it was like a police song that guested Brian Johnson. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You know, that well said. Remember when, 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 uh, when, when Brian Johnson did that song, he did a duet with the guy from Jackal? No. Nah. Yeah. Really? They, they did a duet together. Which and one which I, the chainsaw? Yeah. I, thought it was, I actually thought it was pretty cool because of Jesse James Dupree, by the way. Yeah. I actually thought that was... Another story. It, yeah, story later on tonight. But uh, actually, uh, I was like Jackal. Jackal's good. good. They were like... Hard rock band. They were like a long-run yeah. ACDC. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look like at an American yeah. version of ACDC. Yeah, yeah. so to have them together, like, that's, that's kind of cool. Like, they, were just, mm-hmm. they were still singing the same way. Yeah, right. never really got into them too much. Jackal? Yeah. Oh, uh, Lumberjack? Come on, Lumberjack, <laughs> baby. Oh, was that, that a song was that with reaction Chainsaw? Was that reaction necessary? It was like, legit, What's that man? song with his dick, too? He yeah, had that song like... Uh, I, love my, I love my cock. Dude. <laughs> he has a song called I Love My Cock. He does. Wow. Love my cock. Talk about love Texas. my cock. It's about a rooster. Yeah. You never heard that song? No, I can't. I guess. Uh, yeah, I yeah, see. You're out of the play. I want to sing it to myself every time I pee now, though. All right, so that's the thing what we have on Sting. He just got 